what's going on welcome to the vincent wolf show it's me vw bringing you the good the bad and what the frack so let's get updated shall we today is friday so that means new movies drop like x-men i talked about it yesterday i just hope it goes back to marvel studios where the story can get back in order that's all i'm saying brian singer you you tried alice uh two is also out which i will be seeing later and here we go so okay let's just get this out the way gucci man is free I know you're like, who the hell's Gucci Man? <laughs> Gucci Man is free from jail. He uh, he actually got out 100 plus days earlier, almost like four months earlier than he was scheduled to get out. Uh, he went back in jail in September 2013 for uh, violating his probation. Now he's out on house arrest and soon he'll be completely free. So, and a couple of his so, uh, friends and close to him so that he can't wait to get back in the lab to start spitting some balls yeah yeah my gucci man had that weird accent southern southern rapper and southern hip-hop was up and popping back in like you know 2005 2000 between like 2005 and 2008 he was one of the leading people you know so i'm glad he's out i mean i'm not a fan of gucci man but you know I'm glad he's out of jail hopefully he does the right thing and stays out of jail. But you know who is going to jail? This guy named Troy Av. So, Troy Av is a rapper who decided to open fire at a TI concert, wounding and possibly killing someone, because someone did die, but they, have, they haven't determined yet if his gun killed that person, who was his own bodyguard. What the hell is going on? Is this 96? Because I thought it was 2016. It has to be 96. That's, we, we have to go back in time. This has to be 96. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So, this, it all started, what people were saying, it all started back when Joey Badass said some stuff on a diss track about Troy As friend who committed suicide, which is wrong. Then they both ended up going to a TI concert in Brooklyn where some words were exchanged and then Troy Ave went to kill some people and he shot a couple shot open fire in front of a crowd and started shooting people and then then he shot himself in the leg I don't know how that happened but he did I mean I don't understand it why can't we just you know keep it on wax like I'm not saying that what Joey Badass did was right but you can't go out and just start shooting people and then to bring innocent people into it too and this, this ass clown got himself on camera shooting people. Your life is over, sir. You are done. That's it. You're done. You should have just kept it on, on wax. Now you're done. Your life's over. Your career's over. That's it. You're going to jail for a very, very long time. I'm not even going to post the video. Because they have video out that you can see. You guys are going to have to Google it. I can't. I don't want to post that on my, on my channel. So let's move on to something good. All right. That was my phone. That just went off. <laughs> I don't know why. I keep putting my phone on vibrate. For some reason, it just goes back to sound. Like, I don't I don't get it. I don't understand why it does that. I really don't. But uh, let's move on to something good. And you, you guys hear me talk and rant about uh, movies. You hear me rant about TV shows. You hear me rant about some music sometimes. And especially in the rant about how bad DC shows are. But there are some good ones out there. And I want to talk about some stuff that I'm watching. Especially me and my wife watch together. Uh, number one that me and my wife love watching is 12 Monkeys. So 12 Monkeys is a TV show inspired by the 12 Monkeys movie that came out in 95. And it's good and it's on sci-fi. You can't watch it on Hulu. For some reason Hulu does not. They show commercials for it but you can't watch it. <laughs> I don't understand how they do that. They have no, they have the channel sci-fi, but there's nothing for you to watch on the sci-fi. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why they even have it. So the story takes place in 2044. That's where it starts and it evolves around a character named James Cole, who's a survivor of a plague that nearly killed the world. All right. He ends up joining some scientists to help stop the disease by traveling back in time to find a doctor that said his name back in 2016. 
Now, this show, if you ever watch the movie, you can tell the movie's really weird and confusing. But if you watch the TV show, it explains a lot more because they have a lot more time. Because the movie is only like an hour and 20 minutes. So they're trying to cram in all this information, but I had to leave a whole bunch of stuff out. It's, re it's, it's, not, it's a good movie. It's a cult classic, but it's not... It should be explained more. Like, there should have been a couple more parts to it. So that's why they came out with this series. And it is amazing. Really well done. They're on season two. A um, lot of twists and turns. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And the next show I'm going to talk about, I might, you know, just want to let you know, it's Lucifer. Now, I know you're like, oh, why are you watching that show? So Lucifer... It's actually a really, really good show. It's centered around Lucy, who is the king of hell, blah, 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 blah. You know who the devil is, right? But this show is about what if Lucifer stopped being the king of hell and damnation and just hanged out in L.A.? He opened up a nightclub. <laughs> so, so everything is going good. He's partying. And then he meets his friend out and they're walking. And then someone drives by and kills them. Spoiler. And now he is set on finding her killer and bringing him to justice so he teams up with this detective it is actually really good really witty i love this the dialogue in it i love the the premise and the concept is so good because that that concept is so awesome you know yeah you know about the devil and yeah it has some biblical things to it but it has a completely different dynamic when you just take the devil out of being in hell and you see all the stuff you're going with. like he actually sees a therapist and he's talking about his problems and he's just changing you don't understand why all this changes it's really good really good show check that out that's on hulu as well another show on hulu which you could probably watch both of them the whole seasons is blind spot blind spot is about a girl or i should say young woman who was left in a duffel bag in the middle of times square with her memory wiped covered in tattoos with the name Weller on her back, who is the top agent of the FBI. Lots of twists and turns, a lot of who done it. This show is awesome. Great action. It reminds me almost like 24, like the early season of 24, but tons of action in it. It's an amazing, amazing show. Me and my wife are always glued to the TV watching that and 12 Monkeys. She doesn't watch Lucifer, but watching, you know, 12 Monkeys and Blind Spot. We make sure we watch that every Tuesday. It comes out on Monday, but we watch it on Hulu and by other means. <laughs> and uh, in fourth, now, you know, I don't like I have a hard time with DC shows. One of the DC shows that I used to watch back in the day was Smallville when I was in high school. And then it got really, really boring because it just went on for like, I don't know, 12 seasons or 10 seasons. And Clark Kent is a grown ass man now, and he still hasn't put the suit on. It just made me really mad. And then while the movie was at, while the show was out, they came out with Superman Returns, which didn't make any sense. Because, and they were like, well, we can't cast this dude playing Clark Kent in Smallville because that would be the end of the show because he's in the movie. Come on, DC. This is why DC sucks. This is why DC live action sucks right there. But the only thing saving it right now. Holding on, you know, they tied the knot in the rope and, and held on is Gotham. Leave it to Batman to save the day once again, right? So Gotham is about, not about Batman, but about Bruce Wayne as a kid. And he's trying to find the killers that killed his, well, the killer that killed his parents. And the only person helping him is uh, James Gordon. All right. So the story is really, really focus more about James Gordon and in the background in the you know it was about trying to find the the killers the killer of Bruce's parents this show has the best cast I've ever seen in a TV show me and wife oh we watched the show too that's the best cast I've seen because each character that they show looks exactly like the character that is portrayed in the comics or in the video games I swear on the cartoons too i swear to you all right you will not when you watch it you'll be like all right this is a show to watch it is amazing all right amazing hugo strange looks like hugo strange all right 
Penguin looks like Penguin. He's not fat, but he looks like Penguin. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's amazing. And they're all young, and you see how they become into their power. It's amazing. Amazing show. Well written. Um, it's out on season two. Check that out. That's on Hulu as well. And last but not least, Power. Power is a show that's on Stars, so you can't watch it on Hulu. All right? But it is a fantastic show. It's about a drug dealer that wants to just be a club owner. He wants to leave the game. But his best friend and his wife don't see it happen. Not only that, he meets the one that got away when he was younger, up and coming in the drug game, at his club. And then things got a little hot and heavy. They picked up right where they left off. But here's the thing. She's a DA. So this show has... It's drama to the full. It's an amazing, amazing show. If you like Sons of Anarchy or or and Power, uh, not Power, or and um, uh, Empire, you will love this show. This show is amazing. Must see to watch. It's on Star Wars, so uncut, and you get a full hour of watching it. You know, it's an amazing, amazing show. Season three comes out this summer, and it is produced by Fifty Cent. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Fifty Cent. But he does a fantastic job in this show. He is amazing. He plays a uh, ex-con. I'm not gonna give too much away. I want you guys to watch it, but like the stuff he does in it is amazing. It is amazing. All right. And I don't left out some shows that I watch too, because I watch tons of TV shows. Because I'm just so fascinated by stories, good ones. You know, like I watch Blackish. Blackish is hilarious. I watch Carmichael. That is another hilarious show. Rosewood is fantastic. Supernatural. I've been a fan of Supernatural since season one. Uh, Brooklyn Nine. I wasn't even a fan of Brooklyn Nine, and then I watched the first episode. I even uh, tweeted it and put it on Facebook. You know, Brooklyn Nine. You have my attention. That show is awesome. Uh, I'm also watching Dragon Ball Super, but uh, those five shows that I mentioned earlier are the main shows me and my wife watch. Well, I'm trying to get her to watch Power, and you know, so hopefully she'll watch it. She'll turn around and, and watch it. Uh, <laughs> so that's all I got for you guys. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, hope you guys, let me know if you watched, you know, X-Men or you check out any of these shows. Just let me know. Let me know what you think about it. Now, here's the thing. I always tell my wife this too. Here's the thing. You can't watch the first episode and be like, you love it or hate it. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. You know, sometimes you got to give it like two or three episodes to get in so they can explain more of the story and then, you know, form an opinion. Don't just watch like the first 30 seconds and be like, oh, I hate this show. Just give it some time. Like I tried to watch Sons of Anarchy. I'm not a huge fan of it. I tried to watch a couple episodes. I just can't get into it. That's just me. Because usually I don't like the like it when the bad guy is the, the main character and the good guy. You know what I mean? So, but power is different because power, this guy's actually trying to be good. He's trying to be good, but he ends up not be, he ends up kind of do all this dirt to make everybody happy and be in it's an amazing amazing show uh so hit me up on those comments just want to apologize i'm sorry i i was just out of my mind it was so hot and i was so tired i didn't put the uh trailers in my last post they will be there now i promise and uh i will see you guys tomorrow